Ticketmaster has been surrounded in controversy over the past month following U2's release of their tickets for the Joshua Tree Tour, which sold out in less than 10 minutes. Since then, tickets have appeared online for over 1,300 euro. This has led to uh, fast, the fast tracking of legislation to stop ticket touting. We took to the streets to find out what people thought. If you think about the prices where it's over like 500 euro, 1,000 euro. I, it's madness, like I wouldn't buy it, but I, I have a friend who works at StubHub and like it happens all the time, like so if you're willing to pay it, fair enough, but I, I never would, yeah. never pay that. <laughs> and do you think there should be a ban on it? Uh, no, value is arbitrary, like it depends how much something means to you or why you want it. So have you had any negative experience with buying tickets? Um, yeah, like once I got, I was going to a club and it got completely ripped off because it was sold out and then I ended up having to pay like 60 euro for a ticket when it was supposed to be about 30 so it was kind of annoying and yeah i don't don't really appreciate it how did you find how to buy them tickets was it online or through uh through a friend actually i they're all sold out online but one of my friends bought like bloody 20 or something so uh ended up having to pay loads more. i suppose it's maybe it's the street selling that's the problem more so than the kind of people that you buy from done deal or adverts i'd see in their uh, last like whatever sold out like that whatever and tickets are going up to like 800 quid straight away. It was insane. And I mean, when fans are fans, they kind of they want to go, so they'll pay that kind of price if they're true fans. Like, it's a bit of a mess. What but, do you think uh, about the, that price? I don't think that's fair to be honest. Obviously, supply and demand kicks in. You're like, okay, if you're willing to pay the price, pay the price. But um, I just don't think this is a, a fairness there. I think it's you know extortion to some extent because. People want it, but realistically, they shouldn't have to pay 800 quid for a price of a ticket that someone spent 100 quid on a few days before, a few hours before even. So do you think there should be a ban on it? Um, no, not really. Like, I mean, to me, it's just like, obviously, you know, people have had problems with like fraudulent tickets and, you, you know, for like bigger stuff, it can be an issue. But nine times out of 10, it's just people looking to like get rid of tickets that they have. So you know. what would you think should be done to help regulate it rather than banning? Um, I don't really know. I've never actually thought about it. I suppose, I suppose when you don't have a negative experience about it yourself, you kind of you do get a bit complacent and just think whatever. But I know like um, a couple of people that lost money going to Beyonce. I, I think there should be a ban on it because I think people are going in and buying up loads of tickets only to sell them on at a crazy rate, and it's le le making people not be able to get the tickets in the first place. Um, I think there should be some kind of ban on it, um, but there's probably won't be for a while. So, what do you think the punishment should be? Um, death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, death by tickets. Uh, um, maybe like ban from buying tickets for a few months or something if you're caught doing it, or I don't know. Do you think there should be a ban on reselling of tickets? Oh yeah, obviously. I mean, it's, it should be legal anyway. It's kind of like a grey area, but um, I guess yeah, there should be a ban on it. And what punishment would you put in place? Probably a fine because you know they're trying to make money off it, and if they're doing that illegally, they should just be taken. Uh, there should be money taken off them for that reason. So, probably hefty fine as well, a couple of grand. You never know. No jail time. Uh, if it's severe enough, perhaps jail time. But uh, don't think anything lengthy really, since it's not. It's not the the worst crime to commit. Obviously, you know, if someone gets a ticket and um, is able to you know, sell it on a higher price, they should be able to make some kind of profit, but not like eight times the selling price, that's insane. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't ban it altogether, you just go, okay, you can't like... You know, cap it to some extent, some kind of profit, maybe, what, 10, 15% kind of profit, but not like 300%, that's insane. And what do you think they should do to people who are caught, if they do bring it? Um, well, obviously you're breaking the law, so if you're, you know, if you're making illegal profits, then deal with the same way you deal with making illegal profits. Um, fine get the money back off them or something I don't know something like that you know um, but yeah there definitely should be some kind of prosecution or legislation there Nothing like jail time unless you get caught no not jail time that's that's unfair I'm but not pro regulation in oh, general in society so I, I wouldn't go for that but I think there should be you know like not full like bans but I definitely think like accounts should be monitored or kind of like email addresses and domains and stuff so that it's not as ridiculous like if people can still get the tickets it's okay but if they're like taking all the tickets before anyone else can buy them or even if they just restricted how many tickets can be bought yeah i think they do that now already but you can still buy yeah. four tickets and sell them off for two grand or something, so, yeah. true yeah so.
Yeah. I know, uh, thanks for coming today to discuss uh, ticketing with me. Um, what are your general views on ticketing now? Well, I think, first of all, their ticketing is a bad thing. Um, I think it doesn't serve music fans well, it doesn't serve sports fans well, and it often results in the gouging of, of people based on the passion that they have for a particular band or for a particular team. And I don't think that's fair. And I think we should be working as a government to try and legislate for that, to try and regulate it out of existence, and to try and make sure that we look after regular hard-pressed customers. Yeah, and do you think it's become more common over the last few years? You, kind of see, you see more about it now, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. I think what we've seen is that technology has made it easier to tell tickets. It's made it easier for somebody to buy tickets uh, in bulk, if you like, uh, to set up multiple accounts, to access pre-sales, and to put those uh, pre-sale tickets back on the secondary market or back on the touting market straight away, often before the tickets have even gone on sale to the public. So if you go on to Seatwave, you can see tickets for bands like U2 or Kings of Leon or whatever that aren't on sale for the public yet, but are already on sale secondhand for an inflated price. And that isn't fair. And do you think uh, that a serious sentence should be given to someone that is doing ticket touting or do you think it would vary on how bad it is? Yeah, I think you have to, like any, like any law, you have a sliding scale. Of depending on the seriousness of the offence yeah. or the repetition of the offence, you have a sliding scale of sentences there. Uh, generally speaking, I wouldn't be interested in custodial sentences for it. What I'd be interested in is financial punishments. If you hit people yeah, in the wall exactly. for it, uh, you know, that'll tend They'll to learn from that then. Yeah. Completely. Jail time would be different, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, um, do you think, how's the progress from coming on with the ticket bill, bill now, anyway? Yeah, I'm yeah. very happy with it. Yeah. Um, I brought on Stephen Donnelly on board with it. So okay. it's now a co authored bill, if you like. Um, so it means that, you know, uh, Stephen was an independent TD when I asked him to join, he's now a Fianna Fáil TD, but it means that between his party and my party, we have the majority of the doll, so therefore it will most likely pass. Well, that's great then. So has there been any struggles at all to get the bill? No, no, no struggles at all. Uh, you know, complete cross-party support for it, and um, the only potential struggle is time. Uh, you yeah. know, because it's a private member's bill, a backbench bill, we don't necessarily uh, command when it will appear before the doll and when it will be fully passed into law. But we're hoping that it will be in the next few months. So do you think when it, when the bill is passed, so most likely will be, that it will just uh, get rid of ticket touting uh, altogether? Just like, it won't completely eliminate yeah. ticket touting, but it will certainly reduce by a huge factor the amount of ticket touting that's happening right now. Part of the problem, and you mentioned it yourself earlier, that it yeah. seems like there's more ticket touting than ever before. Part of the problem is technology makes it so easy to tout tickets that it's becoming a problem whereby up to 50% of tickets are being snapped up by touts. What we want to do is reduce that number by as much as possible. Will there still be touts outside stadiums or outside arenas? Potentially. But there won't be nearly as many as there are now. And as you were saying, the majority of um, people are with the bill to pass. Absolutely, yeah, you're absolutely right. So the majority of people are currently supportive of the bill. I haven't identified a single TD who's actually against the bill, so it looks very positive. And yeah, so when are you hoping that the bill will be passed then? Is there any timing that you'll be given? For we're, we're, we're looking at hopefully before the end of this year. I know that seems like a long time yeah, away, but often exactly. it's the case that it's difficult for backbench uh, TDs to get their legislation brought forward. So I'm hoping it'll be before the end of this year. Okay, thanks very much, Noel. That's great. Yeah, no problem at all. Can I just ask another question? Of course. Um, what do you think about what do you think about people who say this and should people like take a master regulating it rather than the people who are taking it? Absolutely. I mean, Ticketmaster should be regulating it, and it's a great question. Um, but unfortunately, we know that Ticketmaster owns Seatwave. We know that Seatwave are one of the biggest beneficiaries of the secondary selling or touting market, um, and we know that they earn a commission of up to eighteen percent of each ticket on both the buyer side and the seller side. So up to 360 euro on a 1,000 euro U2 ticket, for example. So it's clearly, unfortunately, not in Ticketmaster's interest to uh, regulate touting in the way that they should be regulating it. And as such, I think legislation needs to step in. So you're kind of saying that ticket touting, or ticket, Ticketmaster are in favor of touting? I'm certainly saying that Ticketmaster are not working actively to reduce the level of touting in the way that they could be. Uh, for example, they could be doing it by uh, insisting on uh, the name of the ticket matching the name of the entrant. They could be looking at photo ID. They could be looking at using a debit card a swipe system uh, when you enter, like they did for the U2 concerts in the 3 Arena on the insistence of U2. But they're not doing anything like that. 
And it's clear that there are methods and techniques that do work to reduce the level of touting, but generally speaking, in the majority of concerts, Ticketmaster aren't doing that. Is there another company that does like, you can only buy so many of a certain card? Are they doing the same thing? Or yeah, or um, so for U2, for example, uh, at U2's insistence in the three arena, the previous concerts last year, only two tickets per person. For the Crow Park concerts, eight tickets per person. It's quite clear that's another example of if Ticketmaster were really interested in stamping out touting, they would obviously reduce the number of tickets per person. You'd also potentially have an IP address lock so that one computer could only be used with one account, one account could only be used to buy a certain number of tickets. That doesn't happen right now either. There are a lot of things Ticketmaster could be doing, but they're not doing. So there seems to be kind of a hidden agenda somewhere. Yeah, potentially. Yeah.